Thank you. The Moss Point Rotary Club celebrated Arbor Day by maintaining a historical park in Moss Point. Jacoby Rivers paid a visit to the River City and spoke with the club president who says he wants to return the People's Park back to a cleaner state. And it's a park and development. It's, it's one of the neatest parks around. It's a nature-based park by design. That is how Moss Point's Rotary Club President Mark LaSalle describes Sawmill Landing Park in Moss Point. He, along with other members of the club and community members, spent Arbor Day putting on their green thumbs to maintain the park and return it to its historical state. We, we again, defined the back side of the park to the front side. Fencing is about to come in, so on and so forth. So in the next couple of months, we're going to finish out the structure of the park. But the other really neat thing about the park is the cultural history is incredible. Uh, this part of Moss Point, and Moss Point in general, was a shipbuilding mecca uh, two or three hundred years ago and uh, shipped out lumber all over the world from here. So a sawmill, the, the, the lumber industry matched with the shipbuilding industry here in Moss Point is incredible. So there's a lot of cultural history at this site too. Their goal is to transform into a friendly park for the community that includes a walking trail. Everything about the design here is to make it a low impact. So we have impervious surface for parking and the pathway. We have solar lighting for security. We've got a, a, a durable fencing that is just to really outline the park. So everything about the park design is low impact and what we would call green infrastructure or supporting green infrastructure. To achieve their goal, the club also allowed volunteers to adopt a plant. This was a way to not only help educate them on planting, but to also give them a chance to become invested in lending a helping hand with maintaining the park, just like how LaSalle taught a group of Navy JROTC students on how to splice a rope. Every one of these splices was made by a child. Right? They taught, taught them how to splice a piece of rope, and they came and had a ceremony and hung it. So it's about engaging them, not, not about the splice, but about, again, owning this park. It's their fence now. It's not our fence anymore because mm -hmm. there's a tag for every child that put a splice out there. They know it, and it's there. So they're going to come and help us. And they already have helped us build this park. So by getting people to adopt the plant, they're going to come watch that plant grow and they're going to help us maintain the park. And of course, what we're doing is low maintenance park here, the native plants and long maintenance. It's not about, they, they need a lot of care, but we need people to come visit the park and maintain the park. In Moss Point, Jacoby Rivers, WLOX News Now.